Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. <clears throat> Wednesday video is a viewer's requested video. Um, this one was one of the original requested videos, so it's actually a long time ago this was asked for. And it was asked for by Ned Flynn. And it was basically an update on all of the dendrobiums that were taken off of mounts and put in pots, or kikis that were taken off of mother plants and put in pots. So uh, that's quite a list actually, believe it or not. And why I'm pointing it over here is I'm starting with one that I don't want to get off the shelf. Uh, I'm leaving it here. That's one point in here. Now this is Dendrobium canico. This was starting to die on a mount quite badly. Um, it got put in a pot to hopefully encourage some roots. Strictly speaking, that hasn't worked. But what has worked is the production of three very nice kikis. One here that has got some roots into the pot, and another one here, and another one here. Those three are still actively growing. So obviously their roots get watered when I water. Those kikis will come off and go in a pot, but not in the middle of winter, not with the weather we're having at the moment. Um, but the kikis are doing okay. The mother plant has still yet to produce any growth from the base, so is probably lost. But the plant's not lost because we've got three nice strong kikis. Um, these kikis are now two years old. It's possible they could even flower during this year, if not the following year. But taking them off and potting them up, I should start getting some growth from the base again. So the plant itself is, is saved. I think that one will be fine. And then over here <laughs> is everything else. Not the vanda, before somebody says. Right, I've got this one here that I'm doing next so that I can get it out of the way because it's a big tangle. Um, I am going to tidy this up in the spring. That will probably mean removing some canes that might have bloomed. You could say, well, why don't you... <coughs> leave it till later in the year then. I may do. Um, the thing is, the tangle is hanging over in one direction. There are some kikis in amongst here. This is not all canes that are still extending. There are some kikis in amongst them. Um, but um, all of the new growth, because of where I put this pot now, the new growth is heading upwards and slightly backwards, so it's not heading into the tangle. Yeah, so I'm hoping that, you know, eventually this will become the new plant. It has these new growths, which it produced after it was potted, so taking it off the mountain potting it worked, because again, this was going downhill badly. Um, and I've had this plant an incredibly long time. I'm determined not to lose the mother plant. I want the mother plant to grow. So it was put in a pot with the appropriate um, let's grow some roots <laughs> media. Um, not ideal for a dendrobium, but it seems to work to get roots going initially. Changing the media after the roots are stronger is, you know, that should be okay. Um, so basically we've got roots, we've now got new growths, so we've got some greenery. And I suspect that this one's going to come back into reasonable growth once we get to that um, experiment with the lights and the heater. So uh, let me just, um, if I can lift this without dropping it with one hand. It's not heavy, it's just I'm worried it'll overbalance because it lives up here. Where it gets bright light and the new growth heads up towards the roof. So it doesn't come down into this big tangle down here. Um, there is some growing tips in here, but there are some older canes on here that are probably never going to bloom and they just clutter it up. So we will have a, a go at that at some point. The trouble is if it does bloom when it looks like that, the blooms are going to be all tangled up. They're not going to look very good. So uh, we may well still go in for the uh, detangle. Right, now over here we've got plants that were taken off of mounts and we've got kikis that were taken off of, pl well, off of plants obviously. This is Dendrobium amabili. I think it has failed. It has one single leaf left. It has no signs of root from, uh, growth from the base 
and it doesn't have a root system. I would say it's probably lost. But we will wait and see, it still gets a trickle of water every now and again. Now these canes are not shriveled, they're still solid, so it could grow from the base. I've seen things worse than that come back, <laughs> so that's that one. This one, however, is probably not going to come back. I think that's had it now. It's totally desiccated. Got one bit of green left on it. And that is, or was, my Dendrobium primulinum variety Laos. Chances of ever getting that again are probably zero. But it's probably lost. I don't think that's going to make it. It's too far gone. So that's that one. Then this one came from Lynn and um, did nothing for a very long time. Then it started to grow. Now, it's not growing well, but it is growing. We do have new growths. We haven't got new roots yet. And we have this larger new growth, which may or may not make it. So this one at least is trying. And I think with a bit, um, sorry, that was um, Dendrobium, Dendrobium convolutum. Um, so this may make it. This, this is a borderline, um, but it spent an awful long time doing nothing, then at least it started to try. And it's just a matter now of, um, are the conditions going to be good enough to get this going? We've got a new growth here, another one here, another small one here, and then the larger one here. So there's four new growths on there at the moment. That could be okay. I'm not saying it will be. Um, this one, another mother plant that's probably had it totally desiccated. Not quite sure what's going on with this one. I, I doubt if that one will make it. That's um, Harveyanum, unfortunately, and that was a replacement. Um, it didn't seem bad when I got it, but then it just went downhill. Um, the other one did really well, the original one, for a long time and it bloomed for the ridiculous amount of time. It just kept producing spikes and then eventually it stopped producing spikes and died. It's almost as though it bloomed itself to death. <laughs> right, um, the only other plant in amongst here which got put in amongst the kikis is this one. Now this was on a mount once. This is um, Tetragonum. Um, and it's not the variety Gigantia, it's just the standard one apparently, we shall see. Um, it's not doing much, but it hasn't lost its leaves. And it did grow some new growths during last year. So I think that's going to be fine. It's not growing well, but it's, it's, you know, it's not gone. So I think that'll be okay, that one. Um, then we come on to the Kikis. Now these are the giant Kikis. These are the same type of kikis as the ones, the giant ones, that got sent to Carol. So um, she would have potted hers up, I potted mine up. <laughs> totally, the plant just went silly. Not only did it grow a lot of kikis, but they took off like little rockets and became large plants. This is a single year's growth on a kiki. So these are big. So I've got no problem with those. Hopefully they will all start a new growth from the base at which point we should have five or six new growths on top of these canes those growths should get nearer to full size because these are nowhere near full size size of the actual mother plant and that will give me an absolute pot full so that's that lot that is uh, can't remember whether that's the unnamed hybrid or whether it's sweet pinky momoko but it's a nobly type anyway that I do know right so then over here we've got not doing well we're now onto the kikis now this is dendrobium nesta um, this kiki this fat little short fat one does have some roots and may be okay the other one looks like it's rotting at the base it's not happy it did start to grow and then stopped. So I suspect we will end up with one of the two growing on. Um, the little fat one may be okay. Now this pot falls doing great. And this is Dendrobium signatum. Those are fine. 
yeah <laughs> those have all grown on they're all nice and green and they're doing fine now are you gonna go out or are you just singing songs uh, so it's his uh, it's his lunchtime he's starting to object to the cold I mean you could see when he went outside then the wind hit him and this wind is bitter cold and it stopped him dead in his tracks he's not sure what to do now <laughs> We shall see. Right, more kikis then. This is Dendrobium tortilli. Um, the plant never grew well. It did manage to bloom and then it started to go downhill. I managed to rescue some kikis. The plant itself were kikis rescued from the original one that was sent me. So, um, it, you know, it's a sequence of kikis growing on, flowering, and then dying but producing some kikis before it goes over so I never managed to get a good plant going and then this is my awarded plant so this is Fred Friedrichsianum hanna and um, that got awarded by the RHS this is a single kiki it's okay and it should produce a new growth from the base the mother plant still has kikis on it that have stopped growing because it's winter time. Hopefully those kikis will start again in the spring and will add to this so that we can get, I'd like to get a couple of them going so that I've got, you know, an awarded plant that I can sell on to somebody else, you know, as a, a growing on kiki sort of thing. We shall see. And the last one, this didn't come off a mother plant. This was actually given to Hannah as kikis this is dendrobium berryoda so kingianum type and um, it's doing okay and there's a very strong kiki with a load of roots halfway up that cane that needs taking off and getting in the pot um, and what's growing in the pot has got roots and i suspect this year it will grow on quite well so uh, yeah it's a it's an odd set of plants some are doing okay some are not some were once and are not now. Some looked as though they were going to fail and then picked up a bit. It's, it's, it's a mixed bag. It really is. And um, I'm hoping that w when I get the lights going and the heater raising the daytime temperatures, that um, some of these will come back into growth. Some of them I don't expect to make it. But again, with this type of thing, you just have to wait and see. But there's a couple in there that already look as though they've gone to me. There's not a lot of point in keeping them. But they can sit on the rescue shelf. They're not in the way, you know. So uh, we'll see how we get on. So, uh, yeah. Uh, requested video, regular Wednesday event, weekly event until I run out. And um, <laughs> the other regular weekly event is Friday's video, which is a blast from the past. And I'll give you a little teaser for this Friday. As a blast from the past, you can't go any farther back than this one. See you next time. Bye for now.